So in this video, I'm going to show you how I put together my chicken parmesan baked ziti. So a lot of the stuff that I'm going to show you today has already been prepared, like the tomato sauce. We made a video about that. It's called homemade pasta sauce. If you want to know how to make the pasta sauce, just have a look at that video. I'll put a link in the description. And the mozzarella cheese, it was in another video that uh, Mel and the kids made. That video is called Chicken, Broccoli and Cheese Casserole Instapot Style. And in that video, you can see Tanner shredding all the cheese. This is gonna get cheesy. I'm not gonna show you how to shred the cheese. I'm not going to show you how to make the tomato sauce. If you make a homemade tomato sauce or if you use a jar of pasta sauce, it doesn't matter. It's whatever you have handy, right? So I'm just boiling my pasta. It has to boil for eight minutes exactly. I don't want it cooked all the way through. You want to make sure that as soon as you dump your pasta into the strainer, you rinse it off. You rinse it off, you get all the water off of it. We're gonna add a little bit of oil, a little bit of olive oil. Just massage that in. And we do that so that we prevent the pasta from sticking together. Perfect. So I've shredded one whole chicken for my big Z today. So before I do anything, I'm just gonna grease my pan really quick. Awesome. Now I'm gonna add my one package of pasta. To that, I'm adding my pasta sauce. And this pasta sauce is the pasta sauce that Mel made in the homemade pasta sauce video. And I'll put that in the description below. Pasta sauce. And then half a tub of ricotta cheese. Maybe a bit more. Then I've got my shredded chicken. You're going to use about half of that. I've got half a, half a bag of mozzarella. I'm going to put on here. Put that all in together. And now we dig in and mix it all up together. That's how you know you got it mixed properly. Get it all spread out. Ooh, it's nice and warm. It's kind of squishy. Feels neat. And you just want to make sure all your ingredients are mixed up nice. There you go. That looks great. So now I'm gonna put a little bit more mozzarella on top for a nice cheesy coating. The more the better. And who doesn't like Parmesan petals? Sprinkle a few of those on top. I 
And I like to sprinkle a little parsley on top to just add a little bit of color. Next, we put the tin foil lid on. Make sure the tin foil is tight on the sides. Because the pan of Ching Parmesan baked ziti is so large, we're going to put it into the oven for about an hour and a half at 375 and then we'll check it. So the unveil, there it is. Looks great, the parsley's all nice, the cheese is all nice. So I've let it rest for 20 minutes, so it all comes together and crunchy and golden brown. Now I'm just gonna dig in, take a little chunk out of the corner here. That looks great. much for this plate. Cheese, everything. That tastes delicious. That's amazing. Awesome. Awesome. So it's been my pleasure to be on this side of the camera for a change and hopefully in the future Mel will let me make a few more fun videos that I can enjoy and you can enjoy too. So anyways, please, as Mel says all the time, click like and subscribe and please comment on the videos below. Thanks. See you next time.